nice. You got this fountain, the big whale come out of it. You got the big shark on the truck. The diver cage. It's like a great white shark. All right, so their seal habitat you have right here at the entrance. Got gray seals, harbor seals. However, they are doing some maintenance work on the seals habitat. So the seals are temporarily unavailable. Which is a bummer because I always like seals. The behaviors you can see. Alright, so you're gonna go inside the main entrance. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Long Island, New York and today I am visiting the Long Island Aquarium. Now I have never been here before. This is gonna be a fun experience hopefully. It's kind of pricey for entry fee, so hopefully it's gonna be worth it. They do not have a parking lot on the premises, so you actually park a block away from here and they charge $12 for cars to park. So you're basically walking a block away. It's not, not too bad, but I'm uh, gonna show you a map. I see one right inside the entry doors and we'll get a game plan on what I'm gonna see. Hopefully gonna see everything. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. There's their pricing. Uh, right inside the doors, we got the map. So they have a little mixture of indoor and some outdoor habitats. Most of it being indoor. All right, we see some southern stingrays and also some white spotted bamboo sharks. Now there is a hand wash station. Definitely gonna want to wash your hands prior to touching the animals. So basically, if you just have your hand in the water and these guys want to be petted, they're gonna come right up to you. So you got this one right here. They, they usually like to be petted. Look at one right here. Look at that. Oh, yes. They are very silky to the touch. Oh, man, you got the, uh, the skate right here also. They're very soft. They're very soft. Oh, yes, yeah, extremely soft on top. You want to watch, you don't know, poke them in the eyes. Yeah. You want to do it uh, typically with two fingers. So it'll come up to you. They like to be petted. You don't want to grab their tails. Sharks gonna want to come to you. Gonna try to pet the sharks. Gonna try to pet the sharks. They come right by. Yay! Yay! Come by a pet you. I got the wing. Got the wing. Oh, little shark right here. Look at the shark. I uh, got the sharky shark. Oh yes, and the sharky shark. I love the skates, man. Very cool. So very cool. So yeah, they like to be petted. Got some horseshoe crabs in here too. I just saw. Bamboo sharks. Oh, I want to pet the horseshoe crab. Let me pet the horseshoe crab. Pet the horseshoe crab. Now the horseshoe crab is. Uh, oh hi. Horseshoe crab is uh, very very smooth. Kind of like you're hitting plastic. But the stingrays have a nice silky touch to them. So yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Like I said, you want to use your two fingers just just to pet them lightly. 
you know, come right up to the front. <laughs> Said you don't want to touch their tails. Or you gotta watch you don't poke them in the eyeball. Hi. Hi. Get try and get to the bamboo shark. Oh, it's a little deeper. I can't reach him. <sighs> The skate is really cool. It's got a uh, kind of a rough texture to them. Unlike the unlike the stingrays, like I said, they are nice and nice and velvety touch to them. Not slimy or anything. You know, when the animals don't want to be touched anymore, they're going to go to the deeper portion or towards the center. Well, you usually like to be petted, so this one's right here. Come pet me! Come pet me! Come on! Pet me! Pet me! As he zoom by. Like I said, you want to wash your hands before touching them. That's going to get rid of any uh, dirt or uh, especially if you use lotion on your hands. You don't want these animals to be injured. And then of course you're going to want to wash your hands a second time after touching them. Oh, that's a nice looking right there. It's like a all white bamboo shark. Alright, so the other things are related to guitar fish also. That was fun. Got some very, very friendly critters right here. Oh, looks like a flounder here also. You see some archer fish. Archer fish are right below representation of a mangrove forest. Yes, these are the archer fish. Shoot down prey up to 12 feet away. That's like flying insects. That's what they get the name archer fish from. Very colorful too. Some interesting facts. Oh my god. Up next we're gonna see some turtles. I don't know about you, but I like turtles. Okay, she's an East African black mud turtle. Borneo painted a river terrapin. Australian snake neck turtle. Red eared slider turtle. And African helmeted. Oh boy! There are multiple signs here that to touch the turtles. Does the turtles Here roll fight? Oh, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, this guy's hungry. <laughs> oh, this guy's Gonzalez Hey, turtles! Oh, you guys underneath the heat lamps. And you can even feed the turtles for two dollars to give you a handful of turtle food. Alright, so the majority of the turtles in here are the red-eared sliders. People that were just here were feeding them. These types of turtles are very popular pets. Long Island Aquarium, our mission. Wow, I like this habitat area. Summer months. That is where the nests 
Let's see some striped sea robin, some striped bass, got some tarpon, black drum, and a summer flounder. Pesticide on the market designed to be very effective at killing mosquitoes. That pesticide is called DDT. Oh, yes, know all about now, DDT. DDT was very effective at killing mosquitoes. However, as I mentioned, Long Island is a glacial deposit island. That means we have no bedrock, so every chemical we use on Long Island, all of that fertilizer, herbicide, pesticide, Every chemical we use ends up in our water systems, in our drinking water, in the bays, in our ocean. Love the waterfall. They become more and more concentrated. So the mosquitoes are very good. Yeah, the overall design of this place is pretty damn cool. the Ospreys to return, but I also like mentioning it because it is an example of a success. The population in our area has been We've got this little taxidermy critter right here. Look at the birds. But that is uh, a little Osprey side tangent. So now Turn nesting area. The uh, geography of Long Island. And I'm going to start talking about some of the animals that live in the lagoon fish of the state of New York. They are our fish representative. Oh, they have 52 yeah. stripes up and down their body. Well, got tidal marsh. In New York, inlets, and changing tides. So we're going to see some oyster toad fish. Some silver mullet. Atlantic croaker. Striped killifish. Mummick do mummick oh my gosh. Mummick hog. And sheep's head minnow. These are all little small fish. Oh, cute little fish. Oh. This guy in the back looks like he's kind of walking. Look at that. He's actually walking. That is cool evolution right there. He can swim plus he can walk. We've got old world wonders. Asian tiger fish. 
Asian needle nose gar. African squeaker catfish. Fly River turtle over here on the right. Catfish right there. Good size fish right there. Um, oh yeah, that's cool with the fish. Kind of like a sucker fish, you know, they, they clean up all the stuff. There we go. Fly River Girl is going around now. Silver Arowana. Man, it's a scary looking shark. This next area here. Got moon jellies. Most well known of the jellies, as these are in almost every single aquarium that has jellyfish. Got purple lobster. I don't believe I've ever seen a purple lobster before. That is most interesting. Several of these tanks are missing their signs. Very pretty fish in here though. Got some sexy shrimp. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, look how sexy that is. Doing a little sexy dance and everything. I'm being facetious, of course, you know, it's just their name. Got emerald crab. Not like a shrimp. I see the emerald crab right back here. Like I said, several of these tanks are missing their signage. Got American lobster. Wow. That is a big lobster. Got an algae growing on them. He needs a sucker fish here to clean all that off. Got another one down here in the other tank. Got lobster. Got a little smaller lobster right here. Got another touch tank here. You can touch anybody in here. Okay. You just don't want to pick anybody up. Uh, what's anymore. this guy here closest to you? This is a common Atlantic spider crab. He is a male, and we can tell because he has the larger pinchers. Ooh. And he has this uh, rocket ship shape oh, down cool. here on his stomach. Yeah. Yeah. You tell horseshoe crab. You can't hurt me. <laughs> Right back in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Shiva. I love. Yeah. Um, Shiva the destroyer. Yeah. 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 God of death. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like the I like the naming of the mythology. I'm a mythology nerd, so I do love. Are these uh, what are these? These these here. Yeah. So these are ribbed mussel. Oh, okay. These aren't the kinds that we eat. These live closer to shore, and they filter toxins. So they're kind of full of toxins, so we don't want to eat them. Oh, all right. But we eat the ones that are further out. So oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Freddy walking around. Okay. Oh, Freddy. Do you know? Freddy. That's up to you. Go crazy. Go wild. What color is the horse you're crabby? And how about this one? This is an oyster. Oh. So they are kind of cemented onto that rock there because they can't move. So. Oh, okay. They settle down and they find. Yes. As larvae, they kind of float in the water column and then as they grow, they'll cement there. They'll oh, alright. Thank you. Yeah. What color is the horse crab? Why oh, Alright, we got a giant Japanese spider crab. See the big ones right here. Oh yeah, big giant ones right here. Another big one in the back. All right, so I did this area. The so next we're gonna be going into here. This is just right after all this. Absolutely love all of the theming. It's a red belly piranha. It's like factor friction. These are portrayed as being vicious man-eaters, but that is actual fiction. There's never been a documented case anywhere of piranhas attacking and eating a human like they were seen in the movies. And in there with them, you got Cardinal Tetra. Gorgeous tank. Really like the piranha because their their scales reflect the light. Makes them kind of shimmer. Of course, the tetra are the are the little ones. Let's see what that is. Does it say what it is? And it's actually Got best buddies. An enemy fish and sea anemones. You found Nemo? Good job. It is so cool. Most well known of the anemone fish are going to be the fish that people usually refer to as Nemo's. Of course, that's the clownfish. Nothing funny about them. Love this tank also. This is all anemone. And then you got the fish swimming all in between them. Clownfish come in a variety of types. I see a couple uh, sea urchins in here also. Ooh, that's a cool looking fish right there. I like the coloration on them. They swim in there. Wait, an 
mean just just flutters in the water. Another fantastic tank. Got the rocky shores of the North Atlantic. that are in these tanks are going to be listed. Hey Fitch, you want to see a sea star? Very nice. Be careful, Milo. Let's see some pictures. Another really nice looking tank. We've got discus fish. Make a rainbow. Lots of different colors. It shows you the names of the different ones. Conservation status. Pretty looking fish. I like the seagrass also. Have these little cute little fish right here. I really like these. The orange and the and the white. There we go. Shipwreck. Got shipwrecks. Shipwrecks make excellent artificial reefs for multitude of different types of animals. It's like a parrotfish. There are a lot of decommissioned ships that were purposely sunk to create artificial reefs such as this. Of course, this is a recreation. Like this guy right here. Alright. It's God of the Sea right here. Lost City Shark Exhibit. Where is he? Alright, we're going to see some nurse sharks. White tipped reef shark. Got Kreble Jacks. 
sandbar or grab shark. Got sand tiger shark. Green moray eel. Got Queensland grouper. Some scup. Wow, that's some really big sharkies in here. Dun 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 dun. Got multiple viewing windows. Sharp teeth, man. Wow. Got the nurse shark here on the bottom. Got a green moray eel in here. Problem is just finding them. So these sharks don't eat these fish. Because you know the the uh, you know the unspoken rule, you know, where basically uh, fish are friends, not food. Very important. You got a crab in here too. Oh, oh, I think I see the eel. I think I see the eel. Just poke his head out. It's either a fish. Oh, never mind. That's a fish. I'm sorry. I thought that was the eel. Starting to get excited. <laughs> Look at fish in the Amazon River basin. Really big fish. Yeah, I love this also. <laughs> I got a nice turtle. Look, 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 look. Got the living coral reef. I think you guys can be able to read this stuff. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is some candy hog wreaths. Unicorn tang. Or 
Charlotte's Antheus. Dispar Antheus. Yellow Tang. Powder Blue Tang. Blue Spine Unicorn Fish. Square Spot Antheus. Orange Shoulder Surgeon Fish. Clown Surgeon Fish. Cleaner Race. Checkerboard Race. Purple Tang. Arcles Tang. Gold Rim Surgeon Fish. Black Pyramid Butterfly Fish. Dr. Fish. Copper Hand Butterfly Fish. Oh, wow. This is real coral and real anemones in here. Unicorn. Like some of these little smaller fish. It's nice pops of color. Got purple and yellow and waterfall. It's actually a two-sided tank. So this is the other side. Very, very pretty fish. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry, I changed my filter on my camera. Hopefully, this is going to show the fish in a uh, more true light to them. I had my camera set on auto, but sometimes it doesn't uh, show it properly. It's gonna show more of the, uh, the true colors of the fish. Porcupine puffer, cowfish, and dog face puffer. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a regular puffer. That the gulp air. Whew. Someone's chasing the other one around. He's chasing him. Man, he's being mean. Mean fish. Can you find the flounders? Yes, the flounders bury themselves in the sand. You can actually see one of them right here. You can briefly see the outline of them. Because they're, they're ambush predators. Basically, uh, they hide underneath the sand until something yummy swims by. 
Got form and function. Got garden eels. Shrimp fish. And box fish. Now this tank is an outside bubble. This has a magnifying effect. I just saw a garden eel pop his head out. There we go. Seahorses and pipe fish. Oh man, I love seahorse. They really wrap their tails around the grasses. It's like a snail right here. Some urchins. A couple other types of fish. So I'm not really seeing any of the uh, pipe fish. The tank. We've got cuttlefish and common cuttlefish. And dwarf cuttlefish. You know, I don't like the way they just kind of flutter. Got another one in the back. Wow, that's a really cool tank too. Got high voltage wires. For a second only mean the electric eel. All right, since the electric eel is blending in so well, I can't even see it. I've looked all over. Obviously, he's on a very large eel. A giant Pacific octopus. Go. Here is the octopi. Wow. Yeah, you can see all the suction cups. Wow, that's a good size octopus right here too. All right, so I'm gonna go upstairs and see what we can see. Got a bug view of the giant shark tank.
which have shark diving you can do. Additional fee, of course. Now, you see one of the people on the shark cage. That's the breathing apparatus that you hear. Again, I love the theming of this aquarium. We've got a Hillstream community. This is nice. Get one of the little guys attached to the side of it. Got lungfish. Let's see if you can spot the lungfish. This guy right here is not the lungfish. Sometimes they're pretty hard to find. They can blend in also, or maybe behind some of these, you know, stones and stuff. So. Got Mexican blind cave fish. So these fish have evolved, so they do no longer have eyes because they're typically in deep caves where they have pitch black darkness, so eyes are basically redundant. Get various octopus species. It's a lot smaller octopus from the other one that we saw. We got venomous fish. It's gonna be this big guy right here. I swear I was looking all over the place, man, saying, man, I don't even see any fish, but then I wasn't expecting to be that large. There's another one here on the left. Aquacultured fish and corals. Really nice. Another type of clownfish. Got some shark eggs. You can see them moving with the light behind them. We got some Joffrey's marmosets. <laughs> got little monkeys. Cute. Remind me of golden lion tamarins just because their their face is similarly shaped. Got several of them in there. Got all sorts of stuff from the climb on. The one just here checking out all the people. Upstairs, you also have a simulator ride. Doesn't appear to be open today. All right, so I was just upstairs, back downstairs. 
We saw the linen coral wreath. So we're gonna head this way now. This way is to where the Lost City Shark exhibit was. So we're gonna follow the directory and head here to the left. Thought I smelled something good from upstairs. Got the Atlantis Cafe. <laughs> Got their menu board. All sorts of good stuff. All right, so I figured I'm at a aquarium looking at fish. I might as well have some fish and chips. Don't worry, this fish doesn't come from the aquarium. And uh, we're gonna advise get the small beverage because they got free refills all throughout the rest of the day. And they have a lids and straws, which I'm happy about. Most places don't either have a lid or you don't get straws. So, gonna have my lunch and we'll continue on with the tour. Right near the cafe, they got restroom locations. All right, so I'm gonna head outside now for additional exhibits. All right, so there's additional seating outside. They also have sea lion snacks. This is an outdoor snack bar. A Kona ice and ice cream, chips. And they got vending machines. Got sea lion coliseum. Got a training session going on. <laughs> See positive reinforcement. And you get fish rewards. See during the training, they're able to test the animals and eye drops and check see if they are doing good. Look inside their mouths and things like that. They do have shows all throughout the day. This is not one of the shows. This is their actual uh, training with the animals. Thank you. Okay, brushing his teeth. Yeah, getting her teeth brushed. Getting her teeth brushed. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> See, look at that, kids. Even sea lions gotta brush their teeth. Chrissy can't do it themselves, so that's what the trainers do. 
Got to make your teeth all look shiny and white. Oh boy. <laughs> Kissing hand. You guys can walk through just stick them on that wall to your right as you do. If you want to walk, you can head up into the Coliseum. <laughs> That's cool. I like the mermaid fountain. 